Hi everyone, so I'm going to show you guys what to do once we're in Lexia. By this point, the teacher's email has already been put in. Once that's put in, you use your username, which is your student ID number. The student ID number is the number that's on your ID cards when you swipe in in the morning. And everybody's password is the same. It's SGL378. We log in. I'm using Eliana as an example right now. Now, once we go in, there's a few different ways to navigate this. Um, in the beginning, you have three different sections. So you have word study, grammar, or comprehension. Once you've started, it's going to show how much time is left. So your goal is 45 minutes here. You have 44 minutes left, which means this has already been done for one minute. And that's the same for all of these. You don't move on to the next level until all of the timings here are done. So you're going to need about 35 to 45 minutes a day to do each section. You won't necessarily do all three in the same day. Um, and it's important to remember that as you're going through it, you need to stick with it and try to finish out at least one section. So I'm going to click into the grammar section. Simple sentences are simply simple. A video. There's a subject that tells what a sentence is about, like students, and there is a predicate that tells what the subject does, like text. Ta-da! Students text. That's a simple sentence. The first of four sentence type. How simple is that? Okay, so after watching the video, it's going to give you different options of things to do. If you notice one of them sticking out already, I can't click on the ones on the side. I have to st I have to click on the one that's right in front of me. So it's telling me to a do A complete subject speech. is all the words that tell who or what a sentence is about. A complete predicate is all the words that tell what the subject does or is. Is this a complete subject or a complete predicate? The hungry students. So based on what this is telling me, I have to decide in terms of this, is this a complete subject or a complete predicate? It's the who, which is the subject, the hungry students. So I'm going to click that. Okay. Stops before acting. Now, if you notice, every single time I successfully go through one, there's a line down here that's yellow. The whole school. Okay. Something. All the teachers. Something to keep in mind, if you log out before this yellow goes all the way to the end, it's like you never did it. So what you need to make sure you do is you need to finish through one completely. But the yellows, or whatever color, sometimes it's green, you have two bars. The bar here tells you how much you have left to go until you add another bar down here. So remember, it was talking about how you needed 45 minutes to finish out a particular section. This blue part down here is the one that you're trying to get all the way to the end. This yellow part here, again, if you sign out before this yellow part gets all the way to the end, it's like you never did the work in the first place. So do not exit before that yellow mark goes all the way to the end. Watch what happens. I'll do the next few. So all the teachers, complete subject. Eat at the cafe. Complete predicate. Write the answers. Complete predicate. And if you notice Sweet. up here, these numbers are going. That means I got a runner six. runs a mile. Sorry. That means I got a certain amount correct, so I'm on a streak. Now it goes to the next part. I need to separate this. Right? You notice now the line is green. A runner runs a mile. So now I'm separating my The quiet from kitten the purrs softly. Again. The new bulb grows in the spring. Now you're watching this green line, this green line on the top. If I exit before this green line gets to here and I get a new one down here, it's like I never did it. So I need to not leave until this mark goes all the way to the end. The new bulb. The hikers sip water. I'm going to try to do this for you quickly so you can see what happens when the it goes woman to the fans end. the infant. The excited dog barks loudly. Oh, I put it the, the wrong subject place. tells who or what the sentence is about. 
Now before, when I got that wrong, it sent me to a whole nother activity. So if you do get something wrong, it'll bring you somewhere else, and then you'll go back to what you were doing. The Tired Dancer's Nap. And as you notice, there's a lot of examples we have to go through to get it to the end. If I were to exit... The Excited Dog Barks Loudly. If I were to exit right now, right as it was close to this, when I come back in, I'm going to have to start all over again as if I never did it. So remember, I know I said it several times, but you do not want to X out of this until you've gone at least all the way to the end for this part over here. Well done. Now, if you noticed, it moved down to its next The simple section. subject is the one word in a sentence that tells who or what the sentence is about. The simple predicate is the one word that tells what the subject... I'm going to mute that. So, as you notice, once I finish that whole section, down here in the blue, it moved on. Now, if I were to stop in the middle of this, when I come back, it will pick up from this activity. But remember, the line that's green or yellow going across this way, if you X out of Lexia before that reaches that point, then it's like you never did it. So something that you definitely want to keep in mind while you're doing all that. If you guys have any questions, feel free to send us an email.